And we are back. Welcome back to another hour of The Assist, ladies and gentlemen. I'm your host, Noah Harrington. To my right, I have Jay, and to his right, we have Coach G. Fellas, how are you? What it do? What it do? What it do? What it do? Let them know what's something, up, Jay. What's up? It's going down. Our Houston, our Houston sports expert and our West Coast uh, expertise <laughs> on sports. I guess that's, I guess that's what we can call you. Well, I got to be West Coast. I want to be all over. I don't want to just cover. Okay. I'm about to say, I'll just cover West Coast. I cover it all coast. You know West Coast, Laker. East Coast, Third you're Coast. You're a Laker. You're a diehard Laker. I am a diehard Laker, though. I'm a Laker, not diehard. Facts die me that. Not diehard. And I'm a I'm down die south hard. type of guy. And Except the Spurs and the Cowboys, you already know. Yeah, you I'll try to keep it to you real, but when it comes to them Lakers, I might be a little extra raw with it. So. <laughs> uh, a little, sure, a little biased. Um, well, we can we can start... On your west with your West Coast sports, let's go. Because uh, the uh, big name over there in the West, I'll say the second big name, uh, probably I'll, I'll say the biggest name solely because of the off season moves that they tra- or they pulled. You know, they got champion in Kawhi Leonard, Paul George. Mm-hmm. Talk about the Los Angeles Clippers. You're talking about them Clips. I'll just say they're the biggest uh, team in LA I'm based glad you off said the name. Second biggest, because yeah. You know, well, now I'm saying they're big just because they're they're all we see right now. You know what I'm saying? There's there, there's a lot of problems going on. They're only biggest because they're being talked about. Is no, what I mean. No cap, uh, L.A. Clippers. They're they're definitely built to withstand the long haul. However, there seems to be a little chip in the armor. Yes, yeah, a, a pretty uh, big chip. If you ask me, a hundred a hundred and forty point chip when you're supposed to be one of the best defensive teams. In the league, in the, league in right the conference. Fact. Hold on. And we're going to get right back to that. I just want to give you an update because why they're giving up so many. I mean, it's like a fucking charity case over here. They're giving up so many damn points. 135 to the Knicks. Yep. 132 they, to the Knicks. Well, 132. It took them 135 points to, to beat the Knicks. To the Knicks, ladies the and Knicks. gentlemen. That's my point. They gave up 132 to the Knicks. It took them 135 to win. Mm-hmm. The not Knicks. red, not sitting up here waving any red flags or anything. However, where there's smoke, there seems to be a little bit of fire coming from uh, in that direction. That's all that I'm is, saying. That is a valid point. You do have a valid point there. Um, give you some stats on this Clipper Knicks game. Another thing too, people got to remember Kawhi is the like the last champion, and he was like the champion. He led his team, so a lot of teams gonna go against him as like. You know what I mean? The oh, idea no, you talked about the target. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, he, he brought he, the target he over the, to the Clippers. Exactly. I, I get what you're saying. Exactly. And, and it's not necessarily wanting to beat. The, the, I want to beat the champion. I want to beat Kawhi and, and, and him moving from mm-hmm. Toronto. That's and a I very mean, if good you, point. And if you want to think about it, too, the, t- the two teams with the two biggest targets on them right now is two L.A. teams. The oh, two yes. L.A. teams. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. yes. But one by default. One yeah, by, yeah, yeah, one by default, the and, and of course the other one, Kawhi, like we yeah. just said. But I mean, you know, I mean LeBron, AD, of course that's the team to beat right now. You know, the the, the ship, the road to the ship uh, is is going to have to go through LA. So oh, definitely, f- form definitely. or fashion, definitely. Okay, so, so a little definitely. Clipper Nick stats. Marcus Morris showed out thirty five minutes. He had thirty eight points. Hmm. Um, how are you? Why are you the best defensive team in the league? You're putting letting Marquise more or Marcus Morris. Sorry. Marcus Morris put up 40 on you. You know what I mean? 13 for 19. He was in his bag, though. He, yeah, he, R.J. Barrett showed out 24 points, 6 rebounds. Can't be mad at that. But where good. the Clippers got nice. him, you know, you got Lou. Sweet Lou gave you an easy 32. Easy. You, he'll do that in his sleep. Yeah, he's going to he good okay for a good that. 20. I'm okay with yeah, that. Yeah. Good you got Montrez Harrell with who 34. dropped 34. Okay, if if I'm the Knicks, okay, granted it's the Knicks, but anybody else you see that, you can't let Montrez Harrell drop 34. He's mm-hmm. one of he those. Can't. He's a pivotal player. Yeah. I just and his 34 is like a Pascal Siakam's 34 back in the this last year's finals. Is How this it his changed high? the game. Is this his high? What's it, his it high? It might actually be one of his highest scoring games say, ever, or if not his career high. I mean, that's that's a lot of points. You don't for see Montrez Harrell doing that exactly. often. And then Paul George uh, rounded it out with 32 points on 26 minutes. And actually, Paul George is so far in 26 been, minutes. Yeah, in 26 minutes. Wow, Since Paul George just came back, he's shown me a lot more improvement than what Kawhi has. Kawhi looks tired. Kawhi, is, something's going on with Kawhi. And yeah, we don't know what it is. Um, what I will say know. is, if if y'all can think back to whenever he was playing in those finals, they kept saying that it was something wrong with the way that he was playing then. You know what I mean? He was battling a knee injury. 
He, and his, maybe his knee was a little L. You never know, maybe because he still played. He still played kind of with that, you know, going on. So maybe he and that's always a problem. Maybe, I really maybe he's still here, battling here, that here. right now, or 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 on top of him battling that, maybe it could be that he's trying not to. Maybe he's trying not to break something or hurt something else again. You know what I mean? That's that whole low management. They they gonna sweep it under the rug as it's been nothing major. But uh, I don't know. I don't know. I, what I what I do know, it, what, what I can tell you about the t- teams over in L.A., what I like that LeBron, even though they got bumped early, didn't make the playoffs, it gave LeBron time to rest his body. That man's been exactly. playing in the mm-hmm. postseason didn't have a summer for, off for um, team amount of, yeah, um, yeah. Team amount of uh, years. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, just putting miles and miles and miles. He finally got to rest his body and heal some of those reoccurring ailing uh, injuries. That, that you've yeah. had. The, now, that happened in your 10th year. We're it's going, right. never. Now, it's like you said, 15, 16, 17 seasons uh, playing in the postseason. Okay, uh, for for however many uh, seasons on top of that, you got Kawhi who uh, – we're going to see how big your shoulders are. Yeah. You're going to have to – I mean, this is uh, – part of your load management is carrying your team. Yeah. yeah. And carrying your team exactly when they need you to carry them. Yeah. Now I know you're trying to rest your body, and it's it, and it's gonna suck for a lot of the ticket sale holders to not be able to see you play oh, during yeah. on those low management. Yeah, you uh, might catch a few games. fines, but when it comes you know down to happens. the nut cutting, but no, he needs to catch the fines. When it comes down to he nut cutting to in the, the in the playoffs, uh, show up uh, uh show up show out, or yeah. you gonna go home. Yeah, yeah. I mean, well, and that's that's the, you're gonna get those miles on your body. Uh, that's part of being a champion. Um, it's, it's your pedigree. We're going to get to see how big them shoulders are. I initially started off with the Clippers because I wanted to talk about their 140 point, uh, they, how they gave up 140 points to the Grizzlies. But I solely wanted to talk about that just because of John ja Morant and how much of, uh, what should I say? A beast he's been. Uh, Who, Fly Morant? Basically, how much of a beast he's been? Basically is what I'm trying to he's say. He's literally how, dunking on... The tallest of the tallest he's, guys on he's every team. He's climbing every tree. Literally. The move he put on... Uh, who, who did he give the move? I wouldn't say it was Shamit, but I feel like I'm wrong. He's, Where he got he's Lou Will's it. respect. He stuck it with that, with yeah. that uh, step back. The step back and watch him fall. James Harden is the... James Harden started... Even the, on top of the step back, just the way he just been driving the ball. Oh, yeah. Just every... Each game. Just game in and game out. He's playing with just the chip on his shoulder. smashing on everybody. Just he dunking plays, on everything in sight. He plays with the... I see a Mamba mentality in him. And you know what? I think Gabe said something last time about... Uh, uh, people coming in and like sneaking dunks in sometimes. You know I, I had saying? said that I think about Kelly Oubre. He was sneaking those yeah. dunks in. Okay, and and he's no different. Morant's no different. He's actually snuck in, snuck in a couple of dunks on you know a couple of taller defenders. Mm-hmm. But it's not necessarily sneaking it in. It's kind of like his quickness. Yeah, he's just so fast. He can oh, yeah. go to the other side of the rim in a blink of an eye. Yeah, the, he, the he, point you know, guard position has improved very well. Has evolved yeah. crazy. I mean, you remember you, they used to be Bob Cousy. And then, then there was Russell Westbrook. <laughs> mm. So you you see the point guard position has changed drastically. Right. Now you want your point guard to now you got six ten point guards and Ben Simmons. You know what I mean? Mm. So I mean, young buddy got uh, dynamite in his legs. Oh yeah, he comes off that ground very explosively. Uh, I will not put him in a sneak dunk con- uh, category because he is in your face with it. It's, he will it's, rise on you. He will he climb that tree. And, and he's testing your athletic ability against his. And uh, he, 95% of the time, he's come come out on top on that one. He's Taking a charge with, with Ja, you you be better off. Go ahead and hold your own and, and try to make the play. Yeah. Hmm. Sitting up there taking a charge, you're going to get jumped over. As, as Kevin Love <laughs> almost killed his whole Facts. career. Yep. Uh, a well decorated individual career almost got ended. Thirty for uh, thirty team member. <laughs> just a few weeks ago, so <laughs> 30 for 30 you got to watch some of these. Um, speaking of Kevin Love, actually, he was uh he's actually been going through some frustrations these past couple. Can you blame him? I can't, not at all. I don't blame him. You got Colin Sexton up there dribbling the clock out. What do you? What do you, you? And you're the veteran leader on the team. You got to say and something. That's, that's how I feel. I feel like it's just to, it's it's to a point where 
he been there. He know what that team once was, and he's almost like the last great person exactly. left on that team from uh-huh. that era when well, LeBron yeah, and Kyrie and all of them was still there. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's that championship pedigree. Exactly. He's rolled with it's, the king. It's time for you. To, it's time for you to move around and go find you a new team, just like everybody else did. Everybody Kinda else like already left Kevin. the nest. It's time for you to leave the nest. You it know? is time for him to, to move around. And I think uh, Kevin Love's a very loyal person. I think that's why. I think he likes once he facts. finds a place, he likes that place. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Well, he's gonna give you his all yeah like you expect i mean yeah, he he's does a hard that. working he's a hard working player he, and nonetheless i still feel like he kind of he kind of uh i ain't gonna necessarily say old them but um you know when a team stick with you through injuries and stuff like that it almost make you feel like you kind of got to pay them yeah, back. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? like okay i'm not just gonna leave them high and dry I'm yeah a good guy because mm-hmm. there's people who will just leave you high and dry yeah there's some yeah. people I mean, we, call the yeah. we, call the, we call I mean, them ring chasers we call them ring chasers i mean i mean durant's I feel like that's a difference because he was there nine years. There through injury, he went through what what the uh, was where nine years. Okay, in OKC, okay, he went. No, through oh, what? Talking, talking about, about when he went to Warriors. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm talking about when he yeah. went. I feel like maybe he stayed so much longer because he felt like he owed he owed them. You know what I mean? Like I've been here, they gave me my start. I've been here through injuries. I haven't even been in any trade talks. I mean, he went through. What I'm sure Kevin LeBron Durant had to leave through. a lot earlier. And I'm sure Kevin Kevin Love wanted to leave last year. I'm sure Kevin Love wanted to leave when LeBron left. I think the ramp did want to leave, but at the same time, I felt like he felt like he still had a shot. So why try to throw it away? True, you true, know what true, I mean. True, true. Like I honestly think he felt like him and Westbrook really had a shot. And they did. They're up three one. Win. You know they what I mean? Three one in that. And series. honestly, the thing that's really sad about it is, I wish. Not trying to go off topic, but I wish that they would have stayed together just because the next year after he left, Westbrook had his best year ever. Average a triple double. Ever. Best well, year ever. Best year that we've ever seen. Would he have been able seen. to do that with Durant in the equation? I think he probably would have. I don't I know. I think he would have done that. Because when he even, even, 10, 10, even 10. when he played with Durant with OKC, Westbrook was still the handler of the ball. And that never changed. You know what I mean? He still was the handler of the ball. But he that wasn't the changed. sole shot creator. I'm about to say I that know. never changed, but, but the he, plays even, ran through Even when he was getting no triple doubles, he wasn't getting high scoring games. He was passing off and getting assists. Well, when His he, team when just he, wasn't when completing averaged, as many averaged, as they should have. When he averaged if you triple got somebody, doubles, it was 30, 10, and 10. Here's the deal. High side <clears> being 2020, what we know now. Yeah. You know, of course, you wouldn't, we're, we're you wouldn't have say, broke up the big three. Of, yeah, well, which, well, you wouldn't have even let, well, let we James know Harden now. go. Uh, unfortunately, <laughs> uh, I just taking it back to the series three <laughs> one. That chemistry, that team, for whatever reason, uh, they blew that series. I still would have stuck with that team. That team yeah. was built for a championship run. I'm not gonna lie. I think I would have got rid of me personally. I would have got rid of got rid of. Westbrook before I would have got rid of Harden. Just because even when Harden came in the game and he that, played with them, he, at was, that time, he was the third quarter have? man. He would come in and, and drop buku points true, the same true, way he's doing now. He always has dropped a lot of points. Plus, Westbrook was a, a young, raw talent at that time. He wasn't Russell Westbrook like we know him today. Yeah. He wasn't yoked up. He wasn't. He was kind of small. He could still jump out the gym. He had more of a John Morant-esque body type. Yeah. You see, now he's a little bit thicker, you know. Mm-hmm. But Which back then, he was time. younger. He was a time. raw yeah. prospect. And he wasn't the best shooter. He wasn't the best just and now, scorer, that, period. Exactly. You could tell he's and, smarter now. So, yeah, going back then, um, you didn't really have a point. They didn't have a point guard, and I think they needed one. And I think that might be why they kept him. And I feel like they would have gotten a better deal moving Westbrook out as opposed to James Harden. Because See, first game in Houston, James Harden drops 40. Yeah, he, he, so, he, he broke so it was in a him. good It's not out. like it was gone. It's not I like just it honestly feel honestly, like the best. Honestly, it's always been in him, but you got to remember that he was the sixth man for that team. Yeah, yeah, exactly, he was never exactly. a starter. I think that's exactly why they the got rid of him. The best move for, for Westbrook, the best thing for that happened to Westbrook to help shape him to who he is now was the departure of both of those monsters. Oh, exactly, exactly. And, that's, and, that's and that what's in gonna turn happen with created anybody. a monster. Yeah, that's that's what's going to happen with anybody. Um, it's just, I just would have loved to see that trio stay together. That would have been a, that's a that's a what if. That's one of those. Um, one of the biggest what ifs. Yeah. Other than Derrick Rose, probably. Oh, yeah. That's a big what yeah. if of the decade. Um, mm-hmm. We're going to jump into our first commercial break, and we'll be back after these messages. <clears throat> and 
And we're back, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to The Assist. We're jumping right back into basketball. So our Lakers. There was a... We'll, we'll talk about their most recent game um, against the Pelicans. Uh, that was a, um, a statement game. That, that I'll, I'll have to sit here and say that was a statement game. I mean, yes, granted, Anthony Davis had 46 and 13. First Laker to do that since Shaq. But still, that was a statement game. People proved in that game, we're better off without you. We, I didn't need you to blossom into me. I didn't this, 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 and this. You know what I mean? I get, well, I feel like, I get where I'm coming from. I know I, what you're saying, I, but at I, the I same time, saying. I don't feel like that was the case because I even, think even the, when, they, when they got rid of him and they started acquiring all the pieces that they was talking that they was acquiring, we already knew that they was getting rid of, like, okay players to get great players. You know what I mean? True, true, true. But then these okay players come out and kind of show their hand. I mean, you have B.I. who well, who, they still... B.I., we already know what he's been doing They still year. You still got to know that these players are still good players. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. These yeah, ain't... This, this, like, New, New, New Orleans don't have just the, the, the worst team... In the no, league right no, now, they have some, no they got some good raw talent great, and they young talent. Squad to kinda like play with. OKC, the old OKC. That's why I don't understand why they're trying to get rid of trying to shop uh, Drew Holiday. That's that's part of their glue. That's one of the veterans on that team. Yeah, that I think he them just move. must not want to be there. That it would be my be. only reason. I, the only reason I wouldn't call this LA game a statement game, I feel like they've already had that uh, statement that run in to get those. Jitters out the way where AD went off uh, previously uh, playing now. Uh, <clears throat> I feel like we already know we're better than you. Maybe mm. I should have said for Lonzo. You know what I mean? Okay, now now speaking on the other side yeah, uh, yeah. of that ball, I uh, some of these New Orleans it. players yeah. probably needed to get that jitter of, okay, we're going home. We're going to our old home. Where we used to play, you know, wonder what our reception is. is going to be warm? How are people going to fit? You know, you probably mm-hmm. got a little bit more of a stigma hanging over your head. Yeah. And getting mm-hmm. that on off. Oh, you we want to see what Lonzo's going to do. We're finally, what's, we're done with that type of stuff. Okay, now, now we can move over on. Here. But nonetheless, I can see why. I can see why it was. I can see why it was a hard fought game. But as far as a statement game, I don't feel like it was. I feel like. I feel like the only well, people that had players, a statement to make players. the only people that had, the only team that had a statement to make was uh, New Orleans, and they, and they didn't the make the statement. They, and they didn't make the one that they wanted to make. But I at the think same time, like I that feel like if they would have won it, if they would have won, then they would have felt like yeah, in your face, like you know, oh, yeah, idea. Yeah. But the fact that that LeBron and them won is kind of like. We didn't really. I got rid of y'all nothing. just to go get better players, exactly, so we exactly. should be yeah. beating y'all. Anyway. I think you know that's, why I mean? I, that's why I say we. I feel like they know we're better than y'all. Uh, it, the game ended up being a lot closer at the end, and that's it's my only win. problem with the way LA has been closing out. We'll jump on the team, get up twenty plus some odd points, end up winning by only ten. And I can't sit here and say, man, you discussed this uh, the other day. I can't sit here and say that you're you're uh, pulling all your starters, you're giving your bench runs, and and mm-hmm. just the game just ends up falling to be a little bit close. That's we're, not, we're, think, that's not think, the case. That's not get, what's I happening. Think, I think uh, I think what the Lakers do is they run and gun it, run and gun, run and gun, run and gun until they get a comfortable lead, and then they play comfortable. And it's not really in that game. Not really many Lakers. Just it wasn't just a a great all-around performance for all the Lakers. It was a more it was a better all-around performance for the Pelicans as opposed to the Lakers. Drew Holiday had 12, BI had 22, Derek Favors 15, Zoe had 23, which I think see, is a statement for him to have that type of game. See, speaking and from we're gonna a get coach's into standpoint, I understand what what I think uh Vogel is doing is still running and finding how many formulas can I create with my team? We had, and, and still we've already we've already uh, we've already eclipsed the first uh, quarter of the season. Yeah, uh, we got AD getting 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 involved with the. Uh, we got Danny Green getting involved. We got you know the core basically. Now we got to start working on getting our bench and more into a jail situation. And, that's, that's and he's really he's able us. to to work formulas. Yeah, really. So I do see. 
if, if this is the reason why these games are being close, then I, co- I completely understand it because you, you're going to want to have everybody develop as much as you possibly can come April, May, June. When you make that final push, you want to have everybody very well versed in what the uh, uh, what the game plan is going to be in yeah. case your uh, number is called. In case somebody goes down with an injury, we can plug you in. You already know how to you know how to play with this group of guys. Everything and You know how to play with this group yeah. of guys. Gotcha. Um, so uh, and plus LeBron is playing more of a I mean, he had 15 assists this game. So he's not. He had 17 points. So he's not really taking on so much of a of a scoring he's role. Back. He's yeah, exactly. more. He's stepped he's back. He's more of and doing I'm, a facilitator I'm gonna facilitate role. a role. I'm going to facilitate everybody. Which but again, he has to do that better because Kuz only had nine or Kuz only had 10 points. Avery Bradley had seven points on 31 15 minutes. 15 assists is still 30 you points plus. You can't. You can't have. You can't be play 31 minutes and only have seven points. Granted, Danny Green had 25. So that's more shots being taken. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I think I think some of these players are starting to get the uh, calls. Out there, there 25 from Danny? Uh, I don't. That's wild. I mean, I figured that a lot of them would be threes. He went uh, he went nine for 14 from the field. So I mean, it probably wasn't a lot of free throws. I'm gonna see a lot of these players that you're not gonna the the not the household names are gonna start getting a higher percentage of shots taken. All the way through maybe February, March, you're gonna see your Avery Bradley's percentage get picked up. You're gonna see your Cooks' percentage get picked up. Danny Green's percentage, Contavious. Uh, but all Kuz of those. played ten less minutes and scored three more points. So I mean, everybody played at least ten minutes. Now, Troy Kuz, Daniels played Kuz's nine. Kuz's situation is a little bit different, which now, we're gonna jump right into right now. Now it's two way street there. A he could be playing because he knows that his uh, trainer fucked up. And put him in a hot seat yeah. with LeBron because they know you know. I, I'm just go ahead and say you know the stigma about LeBron. If you if you mess around too long, LeBron will shop your ass on up out of there. Yep. So uh, you got into a little bit of friction with him. Had his name uh, brought up into some BS. Uh, he didn't like that. He addressed it like the king should address it. He he downplayed it. But I'm pretty sure in that locker room, there's been some spicy shit going on in there. But I really think it's based on Kuz, Kuzma's play because Kuz hasn't really he's shown he's shown this hindsight that we should have kept Bi and got rid of him because if we would have traded Kuz a lot earlier, I said this the other day, we would have had AD by the trade de- trade deadline last year because that's who they wanted. That's, we that is being, who they wanted. We that were is being fact. stubborn with him, and now hindsight, we kind of shot ourselves in the foot. Yeah. But by but the same token, Kuz was hyped up at that point. Yeah. I was about to say, but by the same token, Kuz Super was balling hyped. out of control. But he was balling he, out of control. Like he was, like the he was out of control. He, he was also he, the second option on that Laker team. And during that given time, LeBron looking for somebody to exactly. roll with. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Hey, LeBron's new on this we team. Gotta, who we can I roll something. with? And that development of this team, who's producing? And it just so happened to be. Kuz is and Kuz is going to be busting. a great. Kuz is going to be a star in his own but right. But Brandon, Brandon was B. still producing that at heart. that time. But he's at the that same player time, that I wouldn't have I, let go. I, I feel, I feel the same way. I feel like he's going to be like another KD. Like he's going to blossom. Yeah. When you have like somebody KD that can create now. their own shot in the manner that he can, mm-hmm. he creates his shot better than Kuz does. Oh yeah, facts. Okay. But he's, he, he, I feel like he's also, he's also well, he's been in the league what a year longer, two years longer. Something like that. I would say two years, yeah. Um, so maybe that just comes with kind of finding your own in the league. I feel like next year, Kuz, Kuz will be uh, kind of in his own right. You know what I mean? Kind of. I see Kuz also formed. starting to go off. If this is the this is being the other side of my statement, if uh, LeBron is actually trying to say, "Hey, you know what? We're gonna get you out of here, but we're gonna help you out. We're gonna help bu- you build your, your your stats up a little bit, so get Let's you some you somewhere better. where you're gonna be a double one option. Where we get mm-hmm. by the, I mean, if you scratch, if you're helping somebody else, you're probably helping yourself out. Yeah, so in the return, back, I scratch yours. We get your numbers up. We'll get something good for you. Yeah. So you, get, you got Anthony Davis, <laughs> and now you got the what number two record in the NBA. So, um. So we talked about a little bit about Lonzo. He's past few games since he came back since uh he came back December 23rd he's averaged 17 points I want to say five rebounds and six assists so I don't I, I feel like he could maybe got a little Christmas spirit in him and it helped him um 
But so that's that's big shout out for Alonzo. I feel like he's finding his own. Like we were just talking about, players finding their own. Um, his little brother, Lamelo. Um, we were talking about this today. Potential number one draft pick. I think you said he was also he, averaging seventeen he, points. I think he has to go number one. I think he has to too, just because of the whole James uh, James Wiseman stuff that's going on. How he left, and you know he might have a bad stigma around him when when the draft comes. I think I think either one of them can go number one. But um, I, I think, was bringing him up. He was in the news for sure. Oh yeah, he was in the news for. Um, I want him to go number one. But I could see if it's somebody who doesn't really need a point guard, how they could grab uh, James He's Wiseman. grown on me. What I will say of watching him for the past two to three years, mm-hmm. the, whole ball, the whole uh, uh, the whole ball, the whole ball show, show going yeah, on. the whole ball explosion. The ball uh, era. <laughs> I, I was not sold on necessarily the ball family being as talented. Outside of, I mean, of course, they're your kids. You're going to hype them up. Yeah. You're, you're going to believe in them more than others. I, I get that. At first, uh, Lonzo was the one where, like, okay, he, he's nice. Lonzo, we can vouch he, for him. He, he was doing, uh, but his game from his college game and did not compare to oh, his, no, no, his no, pro no. game. No, and I get no. that you, you, you're you playing the cream of the crop. Yeah. I, I don't roast me well, for that. Well, it's not even that. I think it's, it's always going to be a, a like a, a, a transition phase when you go I think his dad hurt to, him. I think his dad was so oh, yeah, so yeah, hyped yeah. up That's and, and, and pushing I think so his much. Dad just, his dad I think added his dad a bigger target. Only, I think he's still yeah. working through that. Yeah, yeah, he is. He really is. And plus, his it's not. And then his jump shot ridicule. I think that didn't help. The only thing is that was make help. people think that he was going to be better than what he really exactly. was. Exactly. Exactly. You know what I mean? And I and, think if if Levar wasn't there and he just. He did what he had to do in college, became the second pick, whatever. Because he was the second pick without LeVar there. Yeah. It's not like Lonzo was a slouch in college by any means. Yeah, exactly. I don't think we'd be sitting here saying, wow, Lonzo is, Lonzo's a bust, Lonzo's this, Lonzo's that. Mm-hmm. Because LeVar wasn't prevalent in his in his draft type of, uh, his draft upcoming, I guess. Um, but LaMelo is uh, uh, donating his monthly salary, his M- MBL contract salary. To the uh, wildfire, which is how much? I mean, I, it, it, I, I, first Australia. off, that's an honorable move right there, and I applaud the young man, even if it's ten dollars or and ten thousand dollars. But I'm just curious of what the situation the, in Australia. What is his salary over there? I'm not sure, honestly. I I would have to look it up. I can't get that to you. I know right they away. don't get paid. They don't get paid bunch. buku bucks, but but they, like I said, if it was ten dollars and he's a, giving it up, you know, I, I I'm I sure he's probably that. getting paid a little bit more. Plus, it's a monthly salary. He probably gets paid. um well, he probably gets paid monthly. Play however many games, get your check. Maybe, who knows? I'm guessing that it's some, it's somewhere around like ninety thousand dollars at the end of the season. I would I would say 000. I would say he makes a cool amount of money because yeah. it's a it's a league and that league has media press behind it because you have mm-hmm. names like R.J. Hampton, Andrew Bogut, Aaron Brooks, Lam- uh, Lamelo Ball. All that type of stuff. Like I said, young man is growing. He's balling up. against people that yeah. actually know how to play too. Exactly. He's not but yeah, his, his, his game, his game has oh, has yeah. come along so far. I mean, he had a little bit of something on him, but it, you can tell he, that he was, was out of young. control. He didn't he was have out of control. it. Yet. He didn't have it. Uh, he didn't have it on. He didn't hadn't tamed the beast. It wasn't wasn't polished. Well, what a lot of people got to realize when we started watching him, he was still in high school. Exactly, he was a was like little fifteen year old. You know kid what I mean? Like, playing against eighteen, nine, not nineteen, shooting half court shots and yeah. all kind of crazy stuff. Making, you know what I mean? Like mid game, he was making you know, and, and he did some crazy. Crazy shit during the time frame that he was playing. Uh, yeah. What he dropped? How many points he was it? That he yeah, ninety some odd points in the game. Come on now. Um, stand on the ball, brothers, for a quick second before we jump into our commercial all break. He's that's best at all of them. Oh yeah, that's not that's, that's not bad. Um, uh, Leangelo Ball, the middle uh, middle ball brother, has been picked up by the Oklahoma City Thunder G League practice team, and I like Lamel- I like Leangelo. So I'm happy for him. I, I do too. Just so y'all don't get it confused, though, he's not signed. He's not getting paid. He's not getting nothing. He's just he's, he's the just. practice player. He's getting the opportunity to to get a chance to be signed and get exactly. paid and all that. And I think he'll make the best of this opportunity because if if you know about the balls, they have good heads on their shoulder and they work hard. Mm-hmm. Regardless, their names all over. Levar puts their name everywhere. They get bad publicity, but they put in the work. Yeah. And we've seen that. I mean, you see Lonzo swelled up. Lamelo's became who he's became, uh, but we're gonna jump into a quick commercial break and we'll jump into our football half hour after this. Mm-hmm. 
And ladies and gentlemen, we're back from our quick commercial break. And we have a little bit of basketball to go back over, and then we're going to jump into these wild card games and everything. Um, Trey Young. 41 points. A GOAT. Who did they play? The he Pacers. Was back. He was in his back that day. He's just a GOAT. That's all you can say about Trey Young. He's a GOAT. He He's a... There was a lot of talk that uh, the Dallas got the better of the... Uh, Better of the trade between him and Luca, but I'll sit here and say Trey Young has proven himself. I'm time not gonna lie, again. if I had to choose out of the two, I'm taking Luca. Luca got more body size. I feel like Luca is more dominant in the game than Trey Young. You know, he what is, I mean? he he, he controls can, the game better than Trey, and exactly. I think that's just because of his size. Exactly, and, and that's that's why I, that's why six, I would seven went point guard. Him. It's a lot easier. And that's the, that's the exact reason why I would go with him. Oh yeah, exactly. but at the same time, you can't knock Trey Young. You can't. Like a lot of these players, one thing I will say: a lot of these players are excellent players. If they could just find people of the same caliber to play the positions the same way they play their position, exactly. my God, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Like it's, it sucks when you see people on like. Like, when you got uh, the four, the the number four pick, it plays thirty minutes and puts up zero points in DeAndre Hunter. You, you know can't what I mean? have that. Like, it's it's just it, man, he has no just, help around him. Trey Young sucks. could they they won't make the playoffs, and that and that's what's sad because Trey Young is a super, a soon to be superstar talent. I wouldn't say he's a superstar yet. And then what happens is you see stuff like where where players end up going to go sign with other teams that's already. A juggernaut, yeah. just because they like this. The only way I'm gonna have a chance to get a ring, yeah. You know what I mean? That's what we starting to see now, at least for the last what five years, at least. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Since um, since LeBron, yeah. Ever since LeBron went with D Wade, yeah. It's just been a thing now. Everybody want to tag up with a with another superstar and make it happen. And that's that's the problem because I well, there's still the stigma of uh, the good stigma of I want to work hard and get my ring. You got your Kawhis, you know what I mean? The yeah. people who wanna, who 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 we're gonna get this ring together. I'm not just gonna go ring chasing. Mm-hmm. Um, but like I was saying, Trey Young really does need help. Um, on he the needs fourth, a lot of help. on the fourth, they played the Pacers. He had to pull through and win by six, and uh, I think they went they went to overtime. But like DeAndre Hunter, you're the fourth pick. In the 2019 draft, you play 30 minutes. You put, you give us two rebounds. You give the Hawks two rebounds. Trey Young can't have that. Trey Young, Trey Young's second option can't be Kevin Hooter or Huter, and he he be have give you 26 because that's not a reliable 26 every night. And the way Trey mm-hmm. plays, the way he operates, he, it, him being he's a true point guard. Yeah, he's looking for somebody to get the ball to. He understands how to put pressure on the defense and free somebody up. Yeah. You need to put pieces around him that will finish that ball when he gets it out to him. Uh, I just, like I said, he I played with his dad, and he plays real similar to his dad. I mean, his dad was constantly, even when you didn't think you were open, but his dad felt like you were. <laughs> you were open. Uh, you were open. I yeah. mean, and, he, and that ball is coming your direction. He, he does that well. He puts that ball in and puts you in a position to be great. It's a lot of... Uh, Help needed over there for Trey Young to get on into the postseason. Not even be able to play deep right now. We need to. We need help over there for Trey to get into a postseason yeah. to be the eighth seed. You know, to break out uh, uh, into the five hundred category. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because so far he spent the majority exactly. of his career under five hundred. Exactly. And that hurts his stock. At the end of the day, it hurts him. I mean, his it his person his, his hurts his name. His personal stock is gonna, is going to be all right, but just oh, you're going to go into a playoff to, game with that stigma of oh, you're not going to win this game because, because solely because you've never been here. Never been here. Even if, yeah, exactly. exactly. And yeah. and that's and that's what's gonna. It's not gonna hurt him because you know he's a great player and everything. But it, like you said, it'll hurt. It can hurt your stock. Do you see them trading uh, Trey at any point? No, 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 no. He's gonna have to leave. He's gonna have to voice. Have to I don't want to be here, or I'm exactly. not re-signing this, that, or the third. Do you mm-hmm. see that happening? I think so. Yeah, I don't see anybody going to Atlanta to help Trey, and I don't see Atlanta forming into a like a team like the Heat, where you have. One superstar in your Jimmy Buckets, and everybody else, like they're role players, but they play their role amazing. 
Yeah. The Heat, the Heat have been going off. Yeah, they have. You got Kelly Olynyk. You got Tyler Hero. Your rookie, your, your rookie and Tyler Hero has blossomed. Yeah. Uh, yes. We <laughs> we we don't really talk about Tyler Hero up here too much, but Tyler Hero is top three rookie of the year. Thanks. Um. Behind, of course, Ja. I don't think that's I don't think that's any argument. And I think we've had that debate up here, um, or on our other podcast. Um, but another person going off, showing his true colors, Shea Gilgis Alexander, had twenty five on the fourth against. Um, I just had the team name and it, it slipped my mind. But he has been he's been balling. He's been balling. Um, last few games he's been having thirty, twenty five, twenty. I'll give you thirty five. Every he, other game? Not every other game, but these past few games he's been he's been in the bag. He's he's really been in the bag. Um the fourth on the fourth they played the Cavaliers. That's when Kevin Love was showing his frustrations and everything. Yeah. Um and he had twenty five. And they won, of course. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, pardon me, he had twenty. The game before is when he had twenty five on the second when they played the Spurs. That's who it was. Little busted up. I can't think of who they played. Yeah, and he's wow. he's on that. Uh, I feel like he's. I don't want to say on that Tyler Hero because he's older than Tyler Hero. I want to say, um, but he's on kind of the Lonzo tip in a sense where he's all right. He's kind of forming into himself. We didn't really know what you were gonna be because you're an odd type of player. He's a six six point guard. Yeah. When you come in with that, you think okay, he's gonna be. He's going to be pounding the ball down in the paint or something. You know what I mean? And he's not... When you look at the 6'6 point guards, they usually have some meat on them. Your R.J. Barrett's, your Ben Simmons. Yeah, they usually Lonzo be Lonzo has stocky. some meat on them. Yeah. Uh, Shea Gilgis is a skinny 6'6". Six, six. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So he's not down there bullying the smaller point guards. He's not on there... Michael or Trey Young. Yeah. He's, he's a Trey Young with a Lonzo height. Exactly. Say it like that. Um, but, yeah, he's a, he's more of a... More of a finishing player. And I really like Shea Gilgis Alexander. He's a wildcat, just like Tyler Hero. And um I think I think OKC is gelling into a team like the Heat. The Heat are obviously better because they have a, a more prevalent star, not so much an older star like Chris Paul. I gotta give they got OKC Jimmy Buckets, but my, OKC is in a bag. And I gotta they're, give they're playing OKC very well. my my them. Out of the uh, Western Conference is my team that's a sleeper team. Yeah, I, I completely agree with you. Uh, and I'm going to give the Heat my sleeper team out of the East because I don't think people are respecting the Heat. They're coming in and, and hurting feelings. Oh, yeah. Uh, it, it's tough as hell to win a game over there in Miami. I, and they're, they're to, giving you their all. And they, they, they're playing, they they all are playing, like you said, you alluded to them playing their role players. They, they play their role well. 26 and 10, they're third in the Eastern Conference right now behind the Celtics and Bucks. See, I don't think That's people, crazy. yeah, I don't think people saw that coming. At, at all. At all. Yeah, no one's seen that coming. They have a better record than the Rockets and the Nuggets. That's insane. Yeah. Yeah. Um. So shout out to uh, Jimmy. Finally got a team around him where they're okay. Jimmy seems a little happy. Yeah, Jimmy does seem happy. Jimmy, Jimmy seems like okay. I, these players are coachable. They want to win. They 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 know they know when the best players in the room. You know what I mean? They're not okay. Well, I'm in the NBA too. I don't care if you're Jimmy Butler. You got uh, me I want to score. You, you know what I mean? Real dogs there's, there's that people wanna who are go like hunt. that. They they get that uh um. What would, it, what would it be? Yeah, I don't know. Uh, cockiness. They get that cockiness. Oh, I'm in the league now. Give me the rock. Give me yeah. the ball. I don't care if you're Jimmy Butler. You know who I am. And they don't. They don't have that ego. That's what I'm trying to say. They don't have that ego on that team. Everybody want to work together so we can win. Exactly. You got players like Kelly Olynyk, just a hard working, does his role. Not mm-hmm. gonna be out there dropping forty. Another on you. thing too, it it pays when you have a whole team that can play defense. It. It, exactly. I couldn't have said it better. It pays when you have a team that plays defense. Defense win games. Defense as a unit. Not just certain people play defense here and there, but... Mm-hmm. Defense will win your championship. Yes, it will. Kevin Garnett. When you got when you got the number one scorer of the decade in Kobe Bryant, and he's the MVP that year, you got to play some good defense to shut that man down. Bro, you got to play you excellent better. defense. You better. 
And you got to play excellent defense for night for after seven night games. after night after night. For seven games. Yep. Give or take. Because you know what I mean. It, it yeah, varies. Yeah, it goes back and forth. But I know yeah, yeah. Mean, for sure. Yeah. Um, Donovan Mitchell, we're going to... I promise we're jumping into football, ladies and gentlemen. Donovan Mitchell's been playing great. He had 32 on the 4th. Who did they play? Oh, I just had it. I, I always I always just have everything. That's the problem. I'm going to call you Mr. Just Have. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Just Have it, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. <laughs> um, the Jazz played. Oh. Do you all know who the Jazz might have played? As I'm, as I'm looking it up. The Jazz played the fourth. Uh, on the fourth, they played the Magic. And that's, okay, it reminded me because I wanted to talk about Nikolai Vujicic too. Because Nikolai Vujicic is, in a sense, the Trey Young of the Magic. He's the center Trey Young. 22 hmm. and 13. You can, any game you watch um, by the Magic, Nikolai Vujicic is going to have most likely a double-double. And he... Either need somebody over there who can complement that, and they can win a lot of games, or he just needs to leave. And I don't think anybody's going to be heading to Orlando to play with Nikolai Vujicic. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? I think, I think he needs to go somewhere where he's going to be utilized. I think he would fit really well in in uh, Dallas. I think him and Luca would complement each other really well. Or maybe with the Rockets. He would he would do well with the Rockets. I think, I his, think he'd do good with the Rockets. I think he would too. And the Rockets um, need a really good like a, a, like Capella is really good, but Capella need a lot of help. Capella be tired a lot. You could tell. Capella, he and Capella's not also also not the scoring. Exactly. He's not. He's more of a rebound pass put back. Oh, What's put back type of yeah. Capella is I mean the big man is the hardest working guy on the, on the court. He has to battle the biggest guy. He has to run the, the longest. Gets the ball, give it to the guard, and it's supposed to beat the guard up the court so he can get the ball. Traditional style playing yeah, yeah, basketball. Yeah. Uh, the way the Rockets run and gun, the way the Rockets pull threes, it's hard on the big man to go down there and get the rebound and expect it yeah. to be on the offensive rebound and get things or be expected to match your uh, intensity as you're pushing the ball up the court to uh, finish a uh, uh, a potential oop, a pick and go, uh, a give and go, uh, uh, a stop and pop type situation where they're feeding the big man out of it. Oh. He got miles on his body. He's a big guy. Like we talked about Zion having a bigger frame and, and getting up and down the court, what it's it does to your ass. It's the same yeah. thing. He's putting miles on that body. But you got smaller guys who are physically, literally smaller doing the exact same thing, you're trying to keep up, it's going to be a little bit more rare and tear on your body. So last, I'll say, okay, we'll, tell. we'll do last three games for uh, Nikolai Vujicic. The fourth against Utah, 22-13, and 13, okay, good game. The third against the Heat, 20-11, uh, and 11, good game. And on New Year's versus Washington, 20-12. and 12. His last three games, he's averaging 20-10. and 10. No, no doubt, easy money. That's crazy. He's putting up twenty shots, nineteen shots, seventeen shots. So it's not like he's afraid. He's that shows you how he can benefit the Rockets or another team because he's not afraid to shoot the ball. Clint, I don't yeah. see Clint putting up twenty shots a game. Not at all. By any means. Not at all. No. And not I also think Vujacic is also he'd be I, uncomfortable doing that. I think mm-hmm. Vujacic's twenty also comes from being the star on the team and also those thirteen rebounds. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? You get thirteen rebounds. That's potentially that's potentially thirteen putbacks if they're offensive rebounds. You know what I mean? But the Rockets getting somebody like him, that wouldn't happen. I don't think they. Got oh yeah, enough, uh-uh. they ain't got enough money to afford to do all of that. I think, and I think he's a person who's not gonna voice that he doesn't want to be there. I don't think Nikolai Vucevic is gonna uh, say, "I don't want to be here anymore. I want to be traded." This, that, and the third. I don't. Mm-hmm. I think it's just if it happens, it's just gonna happen. Yeah. And I also think that the Magic are bold enough to move him. And get somebody for him. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? You get where yeah. I'm coming from? Alright, ladies and gentlemen. The moment y'all been waiting for. We're jumping into football. 
Fool's Ball. These Fool's wild card ball. games got a few eliminations. Sadly, we'll start with my team first so we can get the cracks and jokes out of the way. Get them boys out of here. They must go. The, Fuck the one, Pats. One get them on out of here. Get them right up on out of here with the them Cowboys. Cowboys. And it's the Pats. I, God, I hate the Pats. They had to go. T- I, don't don't see, I don't see how Tom Brady throws... 200 plus yards, 37 passes. It's, it's connected on 20 passes and doesn't throw they had a, a touchdown mean pass. Run game, a mean run game. Yeah, Derrick Henry showed. showed Derrick Henry, the, well, he was responsible for 73% of their offense. And that's the thing. He 34 carries, 182 yards. He ran over. Like, like he was, was just nothing. trucking. Ryan, T- one do, touchdown. Do, do, one do, touchdown. Do, do, do. Ryan Tannehill. 72 yards on 15 passes, 8 yeah. completions, yeah. 1 touchdown, 1 interception. How do we lose? How do we lose? What would you say earlier? Defense win what? Defense Game. win games. And that, that's exactly how they won it. Tom, Tom, Tom Brady doesn't throw. He wasn't even the bad throw. He didn't even throw a bad throw. He threw a pick. Y'all, they run games to keep y'all alive. Yeah, that was, that, they that ran was a problem. Y'all to death. It was nothing that they could do. To stop that man. It was a grinding type game. 184, my bad. Yeah, it, it was, was a grinding type game. There was nothing y'all could do to stop that man on that run game. Yeah, and, 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 and failed five to stop him. Five yards to carry isn't bad. Um, that that's what he averaged, 5.4. That's what he averaged. Yeah, like Brady. Was, oh, two man. runs, that's the first down. Brady <laughs> needs help. Tom Brady needs help. Julian Edelman can't be his only outlet. He I wish we wouldn't. Have, pass. He I wish we one. wouldn't have got rid of AB. AB. I wish. I wish we wouldn't have. Um, but now, honestly, I feel like the biggest, the biggest downfall for the Pats right now is he got to find. He got to find him another Gronk. I don't think we need a Gronk. I think we need receivers. No, when I say another Gronk, I mean he needs somebody else on the team that he got a, a relationship with. Oh, like oh, that. oh like, I thought you meant I just, know just a star when I caliber. See you, I can throw you the ball, and we got to understand. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. The, the the chemistry that them two had together on the field, it's going to be hard for him to recreate that with anybody out there. You know what I mean? Like yep. You're going you gonna to have to find you somebody that you got somewhat of that type of chemistry with. You know yeah. what I mean? And I think, I think Edelman, he has Edelman, but he needs somebody else. Exactly. Edelman, you know like, Edelman's need, not a downfield threat like a Gronk or like an AB yeah. or like a Randy. Edelman, Edelman, he didn't Edelman have that relationship with AB. Just because but, he don't have no, nobody else to yeah, fill the yeah. void, pretty much. Um. Brady threw uh, Brady's last pass of the season was an interception, unfortunately, and it's it's sad to see because people are tearing him down like he didn't play. A, I mean, the the only lack of that game is he didn't throw any touchdown passes. Man, here's the deal about that: people are gonna tear him down simply because he Tom Brady the great exactly. Guy. So to see him fail at anything is they is, love is it. High pie in your face. So. Well, and and not you know, and shout out to Tennessee. And not to just say that Tennessee is just like the worst team out there, you know. But at the same time, they weren't was, the best team. Out it there. was it was hard for me to see them lose to Tennessee. Yeah, exactly. If it had been any other team, I gotta I, I gotta say it. That. I gotta if say it. Was out of the first round. Shout out to Mike B. Podcast community, man. He called it. He, he said, said they were going to lose by eight. eight. Yeah, he did. Lost by seven. Wow. Oh, I think he had said uh, when he. I think he. I think he actually said that he said they meaning the Titans. So I don't know. He might have wanted us to win, but he was, he was giving me a lot of Brady flack, and he he was right. Brady. He he said Brady's overrated. He's now he's showing it. Now it's shown because he doesn't have any talent around him. I I won't agree to that. I won't say he's overrated, but he's showing that he needs talent. So he needs some type of talent around him. I mean, and I think everybody need, does. Yeah, I don't everybody think he's does. overrated, but at the same time, like when you have people around you, like I said, that you're comfortable with, that you're comfortable with, that make the game a whole lot easier. We're gonna get you the last few wild good card players games. around. You're good, but when you have great players around you, you can be great. Mm-hmm. The game of the weekend, I'll say. Bills versus Texans. That that had to be the game of the week. I didn't get. I, I didn't catch the finish. I was trying to figure out because, what game you were talking about. Because I thought it was over. No, it's never over. 
It's never over to the fat lady scene. We we picked the Bills. I picked the Bills. Uh, you I picked pick the Bills. I, I and we are bills. Houston sports expert, of and course. And of course, y'all know I went with the Texans because you know I'm a ride for Houston. And all the time. Like Sean and all time. Watson, and ladies and gentlemen. gentlemen. That's all I have to say. That's all I have to say is Deshaun Watson. Deshaun Watson. 25 man. passes, 20 completions, 247 yards, one touchdown pass. Or one touchdown. It was a run, I think. Or he, oh, pardon me. Two touchdowns. Um... Man, that was a that was the best comeback I ever seen in my life for the Texans. I was so excited, and that to was. see to see the comeback come off of JJ Watt coming back, getting the sack, and sack. firing his team. The man he fired, he fired that he stadium up. He fired that team up, and they went off. The momentum is real. They went off. Momentum is a real thing. In in um, they did that. Off that sack, off that sack, that sack was big. That sack, that sack was. That sack heard around Houston. That sack was game changing. <laughs> yeah, literally. That sack was game changing. When he got fired up, I felt like everybody on the team was like, "All right, if he can come back and he can come out here and show that he want this, I feel like we need to show that we want it too." True, and and they did because they, they did that. They pulled that one out. They pulled the they pulled the rabbit out of the hat with that one. And I'm not gonna lie, my team came and that and play by Deshaun Watson. Out, he oh, should his head should have been taken man, off. That spin, oh man, I'm, I'm trying so to tell butter. people that is the second best quarterback in the league right now. Behind, come on, man, you already know Jackson, Lamar. Baltimore. Already, you already know. I got to give it to him. We're jumping into this Saints game. Our Saints lost. Our Saints. Not not our Saints. We pick. I picked the Saints. You picked. Oh, I was Vikings. You picked the Vikings, yes, and you picked the Vikings. Yep. Um, yeah. Saints lost twenty six to twenty. Sorry, Kirk team. Cousins overtime. Thirty two or thirty one. Uh, thirty one passes, nineteen completions, two hundred forty two yards, and a touchdown. Breeze with two oh eight. Thirty three passes, twenty six uh, completions, a touchdown, and an interception. Might I say that was a really good game. Like that they, was they a good game, and also. Forth. And Taysom Hill, Taysom Hill is the Magic Johnson of of football. You think so? He played quarterback. He, he played did, receiver. Did, 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 he played everything. punt return. He was the kicker. Nah, but he was everywhere on the yeah. field. He was everywhere. Shout out to Taysom Hill. Um, even though they took a loss, he um, he was lit. He was. All over the field, he had a touchdown, receiving touchdown. Um, they played a great game, but honestly, the Saints. I feel like the Saints didn't want to win. They had they had opportunity to win, and um, they ran into Adam like, Thielen. To be honest with you, I feel like in that game, I feel like the Saints had the momentum most of the time. Like when they had the ball, you could see that they had the aggression and the will to drive. It just they just couldn't execute. Mm-hmm. I mean, and you got a team that didn't want to fold. They they had a little bit of something to prove. And I think and Adam Thielen had crazy. It started seeming like they just couldn't hold on to the ball. Next thing you know, it seemed like the ball steady going up. It's all these plays getting called back that look like fumbles and interceptions. And, and, and they left it to where you left uh, Minnesota with hope. Mm-hmm. It wasn't like it was a blood like oh breezed and threw four touchdowns in, yeah, in a yeah. quarter. He's just shredding us. He's surgical with this. Yeah. Oh, nah. He he, uh, you left him with some hope that hey, it's it's we we in the fourth quarter we're we're in this. Now what oh, I will no, say man. what I will say when they went to overtime, they uh, of course you know he didn't get to touch the football. His last time to touch the football was you know during regulation. Yeah yeah yeah. So that kind of sucked. You know Vikings won off the touchdown off their first drive. Chad Evans. You know? Um, Adam but Thielen I think had the best game receiver wise over the weekend. Uh, seven receptions, 129 yards, 18 yards. Recept- that's the average, 18 yards. Um, Adam Thielen is a bad man. And I, I'll, I'll say it, Adam Thielen, he showed himself last year, and he's showing himself again this year. And uh, who they're playing... What was his stats again? Uh, seven receptions, uh, 129 yards. That's he didn't he have did a touchdown. Him? He didn't have a touchdown. Uh, I didn't, that's what I was going to say. I didn't... I don't remember the receiving numbers on you don't always the other games. Down. I'm going with contribute. DK I'm taking Metcalf. Them seven. I'm taking them that, seven. See, we hadn't uh, jumped into that game yet. I was going to we, we'll jump right into that. Uh, thing, good thing for a segue in us. DK Metcalf. 
If you don't know about this man, I don't know how you don't know about him. I'm about to say that boy is the second coming of Megatron. It's, it, he's something else. He just played for Seattle. And I will sit here and say he had a better stat line than uh, seven receptions, 160 yards with the touchdown. Yep, including Whoa. a game uh, deciding catch uh, over the middle. Yeah. Whoa. Dang. Yeah, That's yeah, crazy. that he made that. Uh, you'll see it. You'll catch the highlight. He made an amazing catch over the middle to pretty much put the icing on the cake. And and quarterback of the of the um, of the weekend is Russell Wilson, three hundred twenty five yards, 30, 30 attempts, uh, eighteen completions, a touchdown, and a win. But still, a shout out to Deshaun Watson. Oh yes, yes, yes. Because Deshaun Watson showed himself too. He had a he had a better he had a better uh, efficient he had a more efficient game. Um, is the best of it. Um, Carson Wentz went down first quarter. Carson Wentz just has bad luck in the play, or it's not even the playoffs, wild card. Uh, he just has bad luck sometimes, I guess. I, I don't know what it sucks. is. I think that sucks for that team just because as soon as he went down, I feel like the team probably felt like it's over for us. Yep. So, Again, I, that's probably what they and thought. I, and I feel like that. We don't, Nick Foles ain't out here. A lot, <laughs> of, a lot of the, um. A lot of the fans and a lot of the the people behind the Eagles going to use that excuse. Yeah. They probably will. <laughs> um, I can absolutely see that. A little bit of cowboy news before we get out of here, before our hour's up. Marvin Lewis, ex-Bengals coach, had uh, had been interviewed by the Cowboys. Um, How do y'all feel about that? Jason Garrett job. has been officially removed from the Cowboys team. It has been... He's been told they won't be moving forward with him. I would still keep looking. I wouldn't just sit on and do your due diligence. Of, of oh yeah, looking. yeah, yeah. Get everybody involved. Look yeah. at every. Don't just arrowhead one person. I would say I would quit looking at Lincoln Riley. I don't think Lincoln wants that job. He he would be taking a pay cut going there, and and I don't think that's gonna happen. Even though he would be, be. There were some well. rumors about Urban Meyer. Urban is not a bad, but I don't know if he I don't wants think to he's leaving a, Ohio. Oh no, no, well he's not coaching Ohio. Urban but, Meyer? No, he's not the head coach of Ohio. He retired. <coughs> sure did. He retired. Hell, these reasons. were these were rumors. But these were early rumors around. this year. He still hangs around Ohio. These he's still reasons. you know a little bit involved uh, watching him during that uh, game against Clemson. He still was uh, involved, even though they took an L. Okay. But, uh, yeah, his name was tossed in there. He was tossing the hat earlier. Before before the season had even started, They, they I saw rumors about that. So um, I'm not sure if his health is going to allow that for him. Yeah. Um, well, um, any people y'all would like to see in that position? Uh, Would you like to see Mike Tomlin Just saying, there? Urban Myers, they saying that he could be the next USC head coach as well, too. USC. Yeah, I think that's mm-hmm. a little bit more enticing job for mm-hmm. him. I know he likes to stay in that college circuit. I wouldn't want to. There's uh, people like coach. that who yeah, will yeah, come from college to the yeah. pros and they don't they don't make that adjustment sometimes or coaches. Um, mm-hmm. But then you see it works. You got Jimmy Johnson. You got your uh, your Billy Donovan's in basketball. You got you got all that. Um, I'm not necessarily sure who I would like to see uh, running the Cowboys. I think somebody qualified. That's 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 all my that's my only thing. Somebody I mean, who can do Jason the job. For so long that it's just weird thinking exactly anybody else being there. Honestly, to actually, uh, uh, McCarthy, Mike McCarthy, I think that would be a great. However, I mean the history between Green Bay and, and Chicago. They need it could, Bill. It could, it could be <laughs> one of them. They need Bill. They need Bill Belichick. Every coach, every team needs Bill Belichick. Yeah, coach. but I'm gonna go with Pop. And the way the way that uh we we record, he said Coach Pop. Oh, Pop. Yeah, Pop. I said he needs Pop. <laughs> um, I'm gonna go with Pop. Yeah, so can he get Pop? Is it mine? <laughs> um, every coach needs a Bill Belichick, and Bill Belichick is probably a coach for every team because of how you know. Apparently, we cheat all the time. But uh, <laughs> we, we, we're out of the playoffs, so I can say what I want to say. Um, we're getting out of here. That's our time, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, be sure to tune in every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 10 p.m. Eastern Time for the assist. I'm your host, Noah Harrington. To my right, I have Jay. And to his right, we have Coach G. And we're signing out. Deuces. We'll get at you. Catch the replay on the Sunday show. We'll see you next time. <laughs>